Hey guys, it's Brenda from our Wee Wee Bruce channel. I am doing laundry today. I'm not doing much of anything, but I decided to come on here to say hi to you guys. And I've been sick for a while, so hence my voice isn't uh, <clears throat> so great. But I came here to show you guys this little one. Isn't she so cute? <laughs> you know what guys okay here's the thing since entering this hobby in 2015 I have been obsessed with reborn sculpts uh, the kits their names uh, their sculptors and I was addicted to wanting that special doll I have many dolls in my collection still I tried selling some in the past. Most of the ones that I've sold, I've missed so much that I either bought them back when they were on sale or I bought, bought another sculpt by the same artist. Like, same sculpt, different doll, but same artist. <laughs> Trying not to cough. But this little one, she was on sale, I think, Amazon, yes, Amazon, and she is so cute, and she was on sale, I could not pass her up, um, she is a replica, and here's what I was trying to say, I used to know all of the kids' names. I could look at a doll and say, yes, that is the so-and-so scoped by so-and-so. But now, I'm not much into them anymore, as much as I used to be. I have a new addiction now, and that is to these beautiful replica uh, knockoff uh, dolls. <laughs> They are so cute, and yes, some of them are doll-like, which, you know what, I love dolls, so it's totally fine that they're doll-like. Um, I have many dolls in my collection, even authentic kits that are doll-like. Um, it's just because the artist back then didn't really paint them realistically, so I have authentic dolls that look extremely real ultra realistic and I have authentic kits who look like dolls and I do have some replicas that do look realistic ultra realistic just their painting is <laughs> these companies are really really improving just like the reborn hobby many many years ago I mean wasn't the very first Reborn Dolls uh, Behringer stripped and repainted? Uh, and then you have beginner artists who come out with their uh, dolls and they improve over time too. So everyone improves and I am loving the new replicas. Um, she is doll-like. I love her hair. It's little messy it's a wig i do have some replicas that have uh like rooted hair machine rooted hair and it's so amazingly good like <laughs> some of these machines make dolls better than some artists i can say that so this little one um sorry <laughs> Being sick, my mind is like all over the place, but I mostly came here to say again that things will be changing. My whole room that where I've kept the dolls, my dolly room, is going to be transformed into a total guest room. Um, my eldest son Jeremy, he has, he's on his, um, last practicum for teaching he'll be he has a bachelor of music but now he's also going for a master's in bachelor of education or a master's in education so 
he will be coming, moving here to do a practicum in our town. And so I need to get that room ready for him. He used to have a room in the basement. And, but <laughs> over the years, my storage is like, I need the room. So the room downstairs is bigger than the one up here. So I will, I prefer to have the room up here transformed for him. Now he'll be staying here all starting next month until the end of the summer. So it was quite a long time. So I will not be doing filming in my room during that time. And you know, I was thinking like when I had all three boys here, like where did I keep these dolls? <laughs> but then my collection wasn't this big <laughs> either. I have dolls still like uh, hidden around the living room. I have many in my bedroom. I have some downstairs uh, in that uh, storage room, which is called now. <laughs> oh, but so anyways, I was getting that room ready to, you know, to slowly transform into a guest room. No dolls. He does not like the dolls. So there will be no dolls in there. I need to make room for a queen bed. So I need to take out some of the furniture that is in there now. There is, um, like right now, there's two dressers, two desks, um, a wardrobe um, storage unit, and oh, bookcases. So I'm going to take out my bottle collection and wrap them up. I'm going to take out all the... The other things I have in there. I already took out uh, the baby furniture, like my Moses basket, on like it's on the cradle. So I guess it's a cradle. Um, <laughs> there's just so much to do. Oh my goodness. But this little one, I was putting some of the dolls away downstairs. And this one, this is one of my newest ones. I didn't show her. I didn't do a box opening. She doesn't even have a name yet, but she is so cute. And you know what? I don't even know what sculpt she is supposed to be. So, which is odd because normally I do know, like, I even know, like, oh, that's a Levi replica, that's a Saskia, that's, like, you know, I know the different scope names. That's a Mila, that's a Kami, that's a, like... But this one, I don't know who she is. But she is so cute. I need to find some earrings for her. Um, but looking at her, how cute she is. Oh, I mean, you look like a Katrina. Yes. Katrina. She is my Katrina. <laughs> I think she's, I think she's so cute. I did not reweight her nothing, so she's still like, like hollow, but <laughs> she is so cute. And this outfit that she is wearing is a zero to three size month sleeper. Oh, she is so cute. And obviously, like, girls this age don't have this long of hair, but I just love it. She's so cute. She is definitely my doll. My doll that I love. So welcome, Katrina. And she will be staying upstairs. I've decided I need to spend some time with this cutie. Um, I have Calibri over here, um, in the car seat, which, um, I will be keeping the car seat up here, by the way. I always have a star of the car seat. I switch up the babies, but Calibri has been in there since I received her, and she's loving it there, and I love her there. Maybe I'll keep Katrina beside her. I, I want to find some earrings for her. Anyways, guys, how are you guys doing? It's been a while. I don't know when I'll be back, but I'll definitely be back. Um, I'm getting over this cold. Today, I feel pretty good. The sun is shining bright. Um, I live in northern Canada, so uh, it was a beautiful day yesterday, but today it got cold again. 
but cold <laughs> cold not really maybe for you it's cold i think um okay i'm gonna call google for a second so if you have one just turn down the the volume hey google what's the temperature right now in the pod it's currently minus 15 degrees due to current wind conditions it feels like it's minus 22. hey google what's minus 22 celsius to fahrenheit Minus 22 degrees Celsius is equal to minus 7.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So minus 7.6 Fahrenheit, which to me is normal. <laughs> In fact, it's still a bit on the warm side. We have never had, like this winter has been so beautiful and warm. I can't believe it. We finally have snow as well. So anyways, Katrina and I just wish you a happy, happy day. And I hope that everyone is well. Thank you so much for being here, guys. It means a lot to me. And I can't wait to be doing more videos for you guys. But until next time, take care. and love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. See you next time. Bye.